Act one, scene five. Scene five, Sadie's bedroom. Sadie sits on her bed looking out into the space. She softly touches parts of her body. It is a moment of discovery. She talks to herself. Confusing, ain't it? Families have problems, but nothing like this. Clifford and Antoinette are in their bedroom. I'm tired of pretending that everything is all right. This family has gone through hell and back since your mother came to you with that crazy notion of God bearing children. My family has never been a normal one. Mama wanted a child, so I helped her make it. Why don't you just come out and say what you really did? There should be no surprise that Sadie didn't come out normal. She's got a lot of evil shit surrounding her. Antoinette, I just want to forget what happened and just No, go to no, no. I want you to say it. Come on, Cliff. Say what you did to your mother. Even if she asked you to do it, a normal son wouldn't have done it. You were always such a damn mama's boy, even though you weren't even her favorite. Constantly trying to prove to her that you were just as special as Eddie. Why didn't she ask her precious one to save her? Nobody in this family talks about that. Eddie was always her favorite. Don't try to change the subject, Cliff. Say what you did. Out loud. So the spirits in this house can hear you and maybe release us from this hell. Please, say it. What do you want me to say? Exactly what you did. Tell the spirits of this house how Sadie is your child, how you were coaxed into her conception, although everything about it is disgusting and sinful. It was godly. Oh, what was godly? That your mother asked you for an entire year to impregnate her with the seed of the holiest child since Christ? That you insisted that it was something that you had to do for God? Do you know what you did? Somehow I could understand if you maybe jerked off into a cup and let her take it from there. But you fucked your own mother, Cliff. I don't remember the act, Antoinette. Neither did Mama. <sighs> Something more powerful came into the room. In the beginning, I was fully clothed, and so was she. She began to chant something. I blacked out, and when I came to, I was standing in the same spot naked. With semen dripping from your dick and the smell of your mother on your lawn. Antoinette, mm. I, I am not. I don't want to talk about this. I've told you before, if you want to leave, then leave. It's pretty hard to leave. I feel like I've abandoned the life of a blessed child. It's not her fault that she came into the world the way she did. Thank God she's not deformed or was born dead. But maybe if she was born dead, you would see what I feel when I think about what you've done to sit here every day and every night thinking about the fact you slept with another woman and had a baby by her and the woman being your own mother? But honey, we got a child out of it. Not some offspring sent by someone else through some papers in the mail. You can look into her eyes. And see, she's a part of this family. I see a lot of mama and a lot of me. Are you possessed? I keep asking the questions knowing I'll never get answers. Cliff, I'm tired of apologizing for not being able to have children of my own. And to be honest, I'd rather have a child sent to us by some papers in the mail instead of a child conceived in incest and sin. Every time I look into her eyes, I see so clearly what she is. The product of an ungodly act between my mother-in-law and husband. I must be crazy to stay. But I worry about my soul and where it will go if I leave. What do you want me to say? Hmm? Don't say anything to me. Unless it concerns Sadie, I don't want to hear it. As much as I don't want to admit it, I am that child's mother. I am bound by her. I am her indentured servant. And until she releases me, I'll remain here. With the spirits in this house that don't talk to me. I used to talk with God all the time. I'd hear his voice and know where I was going. But the sound of his voice was lost in the blood of Sadie's birth. I still pray. I pray hard, thinking one day I may make Sadie laugh. <laughs> and in that laugh, the pain may be reversed as God's words dance by my ear again. 
She is the key to my connection with God. And I want it back. Antoinette, I did what I thought was godly, was of God. Mama told me that it was all right. We both don't even remember the conception taking place. Do you think that I could look in the mirror day after day at myself, knowing that I entered my mother, entered the part of her that I came out of? Uh, if I remembered that act, I would have taken my own life 12 years ago. All I know is that in that bedroom across the hall sleeps a beautiful child that's mine. People always say that with the taking of a life, God gives a new one. And I watched his mama laid on that hospital bed, a woman of 60 attempting to hold on to the breath that gave her life through labor pains. And she held on until the end. The tears fell upon her body and mixed with the blood that Sadie laid in. That was mama's blood. Mama gave me my faith. She instilled in me a sense of everything that I am and I trust her with my death and life. She brought me into this world and she can take me out. So if damnation is where I am destined to be, fine, I accept that. I don't expect you to compete with that love or even understand it, for, for that's the love I have for my mother, just as your love for me as your husband is something only understood by you. I feel as if I've done God's work and to accept any other interpretation of the act would strike me down and kill me. I have to live, not for me, not for you, but for my daughter who can't even begin to understand all the confusion that surrounds her life. I won't leave her. Neither will I. So we agree that we both stay here for her? But where does that leave us? Let me sleep on it. Can I sleep beside you? What do I care? It's just someone else's flesh. End of scene five. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all better act. Hey. How did that feel? Yeah, yeah, I need a moment. Yeah. Okay, too. yeah, that's okay. Cool, thank you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, I think, Lisa, you didn't drink.